guys what is going on and welcome to my channel so today's video has been requested by one of my subscribers Shilpa Banerjee this is for you where you wanted me to compare the Nykaa's Oh My Brow Eyebrow Mascara as well as the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara now in this video I will be comparing both of them on my bare eyebrows that is without any other product and I'm going to use it the same way like how I usually do that is I'll do my eyebrows first and then the rest of my makeup hence the bare face and we will be comparing it on two things the first one is the pigmentation and the second one is how well it holds so they will be a wear test now if you have not already do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i do upload and now let's jump right into the video now first let's talk about the Nykaa's Oh My Brow Eyebrow Mascara. Now this comes only in one shade called Serious Brown and this is priced at 599 Indian rupees for 4.2 ml of product. And for the claims of the product, it claims to be a smudge proof formula. It lasts up to 12 hours, it has precise application, it is paraben free, cruelty free as well as dermatologically tested. Now the packaging looks something like this and it has a very chubby applicator and this is how it looks when it's swatched on my skin. Now moving on to the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. Now in India they have about three shades which is brunette brown, espresso dark brown which I have and black as well. Now worldwide they do have a total of five shades and the two shades that's not available is blonde and taupe which is kind of justified because they seem a bit light for the Indian skin tone or for dark haired person. And this is priced at 600 rupees for 6.5 ml of product which is more than the Nykaa one. Now coming to the claims for the NYX one, it is highly pigmented, it shapes, defines and sets brows in place and it provides a natural look to brows. Now I know that NYX products are cruelty free and I wish that uh, Nykaa website kind of displays that or shows that because I have noticed that for certain products they do not mention that it is cruelty free but NYX is cruelty free and the NYX applicator has like a long wand but with a very small applicator and is much more thinner and precise than the Nykaa one which is more on the chubbier side so this is how both the applicators look next to each other so as you guys can see my eyebrows are pretty thin and very fine and it needs a lot of help Generally, I would not use just a tinted brow mascara. I will fill it in but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use the brow mascaras alone just to see how pigmented they are and how well they hold So on the right side, I'm going with the Nykaa one and just brushing everything up So this is like three coats of it and let me quickly clean it up and by cleaning I don't mean by using concealer just removing the excess using my fingers okay so this is the Nykaa side and now moving to the next one Again, I'm cleaning up the excess. This is why I personally kind of prefer a clear brow gel rather than a tinted one because a tinted one you always have to clean it up if you're a bit messy and I am. So this is the Nykaa side and this one is the NYX side. Now also I just wanted to mention that the NYX one was bought more than 6 months or 6 to 8 months back wherein the Nykaa one is fairly new. I got it like when it launched and I have used it like only 2 or 3 times. So the time right now is about 2.18pm and I will be doing the rest of my makeup and be right back. 
so I'm back and this is the most minimal makeup that I've done for a video so I just popped in some lashes I did my eyeliner and all over my face I used only the Maybelline fit me loose powder and the eyebrows are not been touched or anything whatsoever so it is as it is in its place so today is going to be a pretty chill day for me where I will be editing some videos as well as I have some office work to do. My nephew is coming home so I'll be playing with him and I will be back in a few hours which is few seconds for you guys. Hello, I am back and this is how I'm looking right now which is exhausted and tired. So the time right now is about 9.05 p.m. and it has been over six and a half hours, more close to seven hours since I last applied the product. The loose powder all over my face, it just vanished in like a few minutes thanks to my oily skin. I took off my lashes and I did reapply my lipstick, which by the way is from um, Flower Beauty, the Miracle Matte Lip in the shade Scarlet Letter. So this is the shade that I have on my lips, which is so beautiful. So now coming to the eyebrows, I'll quickly zoom you guys in and show you how the eyebrows are looking right now and also show you how it looked before and how it looks right now. Okay, so this is the super zoomed in version. So now coming to the holding power, I feel that both of them held pretty well and they are almost the same and also I was sweating like crazy like I was sweating so bad that my sweat went inside my eyeballs and I started tearing up really bad my eyeliner started bleeding so that was a huge mess now let's quickly talk about the pros and the cons and this time what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna compare the similarities and then the next I'm gonna go for the difference and which one is better than the other. Now the first point in the similarity is the pricing. Now the pricing for both of them it's like the NYX is 600 rupees, the Nykaa one is 599 so it's almost same and the second point is on the shades now both the shades were almost similar the Nykaa one in Sirius Brown and the NYX one in Espresso Dark Brown now the third point is the holding power which I felt both of them held pretty well throughout the day now coming to the differences I'm going to do a little bit different where I'm going to do like a point system for example the first point goes to the NYX one for the shade range because the NYX one offers three shades and the Nykaa one offers only one single shade. The second point goes to is NYX again because it was much more pigmented when you compare it to the Nykaa one. And the next point goes to the Nykaa one because even though it was not very pigmented, it gave a nice precise application. When you compare it to the NYX one, since it was pigmented, it got a little bit more messier and it looked a bit more patchier. And the last point goes to the NYX one because it has more quantity than the Nykaa one. The NYX has about 6.5 ml of product wherein the Nykaa one has only 4.2 ml of product. Now overall when you compare the points, the NYX one overweighs the Nykaa one and also personally I do recommend is the NYX one. Now when it comes to the point about the messiness or the patchiness, like I mentioned before, I never use the tinted eyebrow mascara on its own. I always fill in my eyebrows and then probably use it. And at that time, the patchiness is not visible. And also messiness is something that can be finessed or can be worked around it. And the Nykaa one, for the price point, the less quantity and the less pigmentation, I don't think I would repurchase it again. So this is my personal opinion where I would recommend the NYX one rather than the Nykaa one. So this wraps up today's video you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. And also like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I'll try my best to do that for you. As well as follow me on my socials which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.